All right, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, do a smiley face this morning. Hat of the day, Panthers. It is 9.05. Hopefully, uh, some students try to hop in. So we will wait patiently until they do. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, whichever time you're watching. And if I don't see y'all tomorrow for SFA, then I will see you sometime in the near future, hopefully. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's getting power back on. Hope everybody's getting water back on, internet and all that. All right, we got a student coming in, so let's get started. Good morning, Eduardo. How are you doing? Good morning, Niles. Y'all doing okay this morning? All right, I'm glad to hear it. All right, let me make sure I get y'all for attendance. Okay, uh, so for today, we're on that lesson six part of the cycle. So you know what that means. Good old cycle test time. Um, for this cycle test, I kind of condensed it um, for y'all for like, it's um, I think 11 questions on there, uh, mostly doing with, with vocabulary. Um, I hope you all know where to find all the materials needed for it. So let's take a look at my screen so we can refresh our memories on what is where and how we can use those to the best advantage okay all right so as we look on canvas as always first thing our daily reminder always check your announcements and calendar so we go to the announcement section nothing new uh, the most two or excuse me the most recent things are these two links here at the very top we have list of some of the Aesop's fables that we pull up and we can either click that blue link or the icon right beside it. And we get a list of a lot of the fables that we cover, right? Next, if we go back to the announcements, at the very top, uh, the second thing at the very top, we have unit six, cycle one, vocabulary. This list right here that includes all the vocabulary words, uh, in this column, the pronunciations, how you say it correctly, all the different meanings in this third column. And in the last column, you have a sentence examples of how to do each, okay? All right, so those are in the announcements. Let's take a look at the calendar, see what we have. For today, February 22nd, we have the class time for where it starts the Zoom meeting information and the bell work for today. Let's take a look at the bell work for today. Pretty simple. <clears throat> it asks the question, what section on Canvas for this class can you find a list of the fables we have been reading from Aesop's Fables? Is it the one, the announcement section, two, the syllabus section, or three, the grade section? Here are your sections over here. Uh, Eduardo, which section could you find a list of Aesop's fables? The announcement section? Right, we just looked at those. You're absolutely correct. So that's where you would find the list of Aesop's fables, okay? So that's for your bell work. Next, let's take a look back at the calendar. Uh, good morning, everybody that just came in. Quanisha, Dimaje, Rosalinda, hope y'all are doing well. Let's, let's take a look at the calendar and see after bell work, we have the unit six cycle one test. Okay, so this is where you can find all the questions for the cycle test. Uh, you have again, questions one through 11. It's pretty condensed uh, for this time. So it's not a whole lot for y'all to, to do compared to other cycle tests. Uh, question one asks for you to write a meaningful sentence using the word plight, okay? It's one of your vocabulary words, plight. Question two asks, in which of the following sentences is the word slyly used incorrectly? 
incorrectly means wrong, okay? So is it A, the man slyly shoved the folder under his coat? B, I slyly hid under the table when we were playing tag? C, my father slyly hid the flowers for my mom behind his back? Or D, the girl was slyly jumping up and down because she was so excited, okay? Next, we have three. Use two vocabulary words in a question. Uh, so think of any two vocabulary words that we've uh, gone over. Uh, four, what is a synonym for the word seized? Uh, Quanisha Banks, what does the word synonym mean? What does the word synonym mean? The what? Right. It's a word that means basically the same meaning. Uh, Rosalinda, what does the word antonym mean? It means the opposite. Right. So what is the word that means the opposite of the word seized? Again, so four is... What is a synonym for the word seized? And what is an antonym for the word seized? Okay. Next, we have five. My father blank to let me ride my bike to his to my friend's house. So choose the word that belongs in the blank. Again, my father blank to let me ride my bike to my friend's house. It's either A, reproached. B, accepted, C, consented, or D, begrudge, okay? Next, question six. Write a meaningful sentence for the word misfortune. Question seven. In which of the following sentences is the word spare used incorrectly? So which of them is the word spare used wrong? You have A, the building company agreed to spare the courthouse because it was historic. B, the fire did not spare anything in its path and destroyed everything. C, we got a book so we could spare the important information. And D, in order to spare freedom, Many soldiers have fought bravely for their country. Again, which one is the word spare used incorrectly out of these choices? Next, we have question eight. What is a synonym that means the same? Like Quanisha said, it means the same for the word reproached. And what is an antonym for the word reproached? Okay. Good morning, Walter. I see you just came in. Next, we have question nine. What is, excuse me, <clears throat> what is one word that you or your teammates explored in your word power journal this cycle? Uh, give the meaning of this word and then use it in a meaningful sentence. So basically just think of a, another vocabulary word that we went over and say what the meaning of it is, okay? Number 10, as used in the sentence, it is easy to despise what you know you cannot possess. Possess most nearly means what? So what is the closest one to the word possessed? Either A, have, B, grab, C, take, or D, stand. And explain how you figured out the meaning of the word possess. So don't just put the, the letter, or for which uh, word that you got, also say how you came up with the meaning, okay? And question 11, in the fable on page 42, it doesn't matter which page because a lot of the pages are wrong, but in the fable, the lion and the mouse, we went over this, I think maybe yesterday, I think we read that, what problems do the characters experience? And how are their problems solved? What does the lion learn? 
Support your answer with information from the text. Uh, again, Eduardo, you answered uh, earlier. Where can you find a, a copy of uh, a bunch of the Aesop's fables listed? In what section? The announcements. Right, in the announcements. So if you need to go back to the announcement section to find it, I would advise you to do so. But those are your questions for the cycle tests, one through 11. You don't have like multiple tests. I just kind of condensed them and put them all together for this one, okay? That way y'all don't have like a bunch of different assignments y'all got to do for it to be like super, super long. But yep, that's the cycle test. <clears throat> uh, next, let me make sure I get everybody for attendance that just came in. Nisha came in, Walter came in. Dimash came in. Oh, Miss Linda's here. Okay, that's everybody. All right. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. And that's basically it for today. I just want y'all to do your cycle test um, and your bell work, obviously. <sighs> Does anybody have any questions for me about anything today? Raise your hand if you got a question for me about anything. All right. In that case, um, I'm glad to see uh, a lot of y'all here. Uh, hopefully we're getting more, you know, people coming in throughout the week or people whose Internet's coming back on and all that, you know, getting power and all that. Um, hope y'all are still doing well and staying warm. I like the weather being a lot better, you know, these past couple of days, which is great to me. And um, that's basically it for class for today. OK. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Be sure to do your bell working cycle test uh, before the end of the week. I think I left it open a good bit. Um, but yep, that's it for class for today. I will see y'all tomorrow, okay? All right, y'all take it easy. <laughs>